I've owned this game for a very, very long time, but I barely gave it an actual shot. Time to see how this game is holding up nowadays. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. And we are here on Call of Duty Black Ops 4. When I first got this game, I didn't even bother playing it all that much. I played it for like a few minutes and then after that I proceeded to not touch it ever again but I figured that with the open beta for Call of Duty Black Ops 6 coming this weekend I figured I'd try to familiarize myself with how Black Ops feels hence why I decided to come on back to Black Ops 4. So we got double XP for the party game Mosh Pit. That's crazy. There's Gun Game, One in the Chamber, Infected, Sticks and Stones, and Prop Hunt. I can't even lie, dude. I genuinely miss Prop Hunt in Call of Duty. I think it was probably one of, if not the greatest party mode we've ever had in a game like this, with the second one being Gun Game. There's only nine game modes in the core playlist and six game modes in the hardcore playlist. Jesus Christ. I mean, I'll try to see if I could queue up for hardcore TDM. Hopefully I can. Every Call of Duty that I have owned, I have played through each one of them pretty extensively, but Black Ops 4 is one of those titles that I did not play all that much, and surprisingly, we got a match. But as I said, Black Ops 4 was one of those Call of Duty titles that I barely even played. Oh shoot, you could choose Specialists? Ah, uh, well, uh, I'll just choose Ruin. I can't believe there's people still playing this game. That's insane. I didn't even think there'd be people playing in hardcore, but all right. Why is it taking so long to... Uh, okay. I will give it to Treyarch. One of the things that they've always managed to do successfully was nail the color palette with their maps. Like these maps, They've done a very good job of making it look as colorful and as vibrant as possible. I don't understand why it takes a few seconds for me to actually respawn. Like, I'm just playing TDM. It's not like I'm playing, like, Control or Safeguard. Alright, I at least got a kill. Alright, so basically once you get a kill, then you're able to automatically respawn ASAP. I don't know why it's like that, but okay. Also, don't expect me to do really well at all throughout my time of playing this game. I'm not familiar with how this game plays whatsoever. I'm 3 to 13 right now. This is how you know I rarely ever played this game. If I remember correctly, I believe this is the first and only Call of Duty title to not come with a campaign. This was mainly a multiplayer based title. It had multiplayer, zombies, and it also had its own battle royale in the form of Blackout. I didn't really care enough to want to see gameplay on Blackout because I wasn't really into battle royales all that much. I only cared to see what was happening in multiplayer. And if I remember correctly, I believe this was the last Call of Duty to have some level of casual matchmaking before we got Modern Warfare 2019, and there started to become such a huge emphasis on skill-based matchmaking. Bro, oh my lord. I, I was just getting eviscerated. I went 7-22. to That's how you know I don't play this game. If I remember correctly, I believe Black Ops 4 was also the last Call of Duty title to feature some form of actual prestiging. Like, this was the last Call of Duty to have an actual prestige system, unlike what we've had with the last several Call of Duty titles. Because I know that ever since Cold War, we've ended up having seasonal prestiging rather than like an actual prestige system, which I thought was really stupid. But thankfully, it looks like a prestige system is coming back in Black Ops 6. Now, while I don't necessarily agree with the fact that an old feature that we've had for so many years is returning in a newer Call of Duty title, at the same time, at least people can have something to grind towards nowadays. Threat neutralized. Fresh. I did notice that you could use the grapple hook, but I didn't even think that would actually work. Mm. 
no, come on, dude. I can tell that this version of Nuketown is awfully different in comparison to the past iterations in the sense that certain lines of sights have been blocked off due to some of these objects being a lot bigger than usual. Diamond Camo. Honestly, dude, Diamond Camo is, it has to be one of the most underrated mastery camos we've got in Call of Duty. It's so underrated. <laughs> the little cutscene for when the match ends on Nuketown. I thought that was a nice touch. I went 16 to 16. <laughs> I went even. You know what? We'll check out the party game Mosh Pit. I want to see how that is. I want to see if anybody is even playing it. Prop Hunt? Oh, let's go. I'm so looking forward to this. It's just a pillow, and he's hiding behind a limo. Is he in a spawn? Dude, they're going to find you there. A step stool. It's just hiding here. Oh, shoot. There's a guy right there. I think there was a guy that just went in the water. Surprisingly, they didn't even catch him. This dude is a lamp. If anything, he should move a little bit more to the left. Just so it doesn't come off as if the lamp is about to fall off. Because normally, in real life, a lamp wouldn't be all the way up against the corner of the table. Oh, this dude is on the move. I don't know if he got caught, but he's on the move. This is how big the map is for a game mode like Prop Hunt. God damn, he's still on the move, man. Oh my god. Ooh, oh, there's somebody right there. Bro, you better be careful. Oh. Oh, he found you. Retreat, retreat. Oh. He's still in this. I don't know how he survived. Uh oh Oh! I can't believe this dude was able to outlast them or like what? Oh, this is oh, this is pretty ballsy. And they won the round. I can't believe that. It's been a minute since I played Prop Hunt, so forgive me if I end up not doing too well. Got one. <laughs> At least I took out one person. Wow. Okay, <laughs> I guess they're trying to have some fun over there. Oh, now we gotta find a spot. E yeah, I don't know where. I don't know where. <laughs> uh, I hope this works. I'm gonna move. Play some decoys. I do know that after like a few seconds... Okay, so there's like a timer on the left hand side where after that time goes up, your prop will set off a whistle which will reveal your location for enemies to hear. While we're at it, can we just admire the view? I mean, just look at the scenery. This is so beautiful. Oh no. No! Oh! No! Oh my god, dude. I couldn't even move! I clicked the right trigger to unlock so that way I could move, but my prop just wouldn't move. <sighs> Just hiding out here in the water, bro. Yeah, like nobody's gonna see that. Nobody. And the dude's just hiding behind the limo as a step stool. Oh, they're about to they're about to notice. 
Oh. Oh. Fight like you've got a pair. Bro. Bro. There's no way. Oh. Oh. He's been made. He's been made. Yeah. To be honest with you, I don't even know what the props... Oh, shoot. Found someone. Lag. There we go. But we still lost the round. Oh my god, man. It's crazy to me how there's like little to no aim assist when you're trying to lock onto the prop. Oh, and now where are the props? Let me change it to something else. Ooh, a vase. Okay. Mm, where would a vase normally go? <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so you could use concussions to, you know, stun your enemies. No! There's less than 30 seconds. I know I can make it! No, 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 no. I don't want to go in the water because it's, it's going to be too easy. Oh! Oh, my God. Less than 10 seconds. Come on. Oh! 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 Okay. We won. Let's freaking go, dude. Oh, shit. Dude, that had me nervous as fuck. Dude, that had me nervous as fuck. I'm not even kidding. It's like every time I moved and when I was about to look a corner, there was an enemy right there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was me coming back to Black Ops 4. I will admit, while I have owned this game for a very, very long time, it is unfortunate to know that I didn't even bother to spend that much time playing this game so I could familiarize myself with it just to see how it could play out. And from what I got to experience in today's video, I didn't do all that well in normal pub stomping. But as far as playing the party games, more specifically Prop Hunt, I had a lot of fun. I really had a lot of fun playing Prop Hunt. And dude, I, I really wish that game mode could come back as a party mode. I really hope Treyarch considers doing so with Black Ops 6, but only time will tell. Black Ops 6 beta will open up this weekend for everybody. I am looking forward to checking it out and playing it so that way I could get a good idea as to how the game is going to feel and play, but I'm really looking forward to checking that out. But I want to know from you guys, are you still playing Black Ops 4 nearly six years since it launched? And if so, what do you make of the game? Do you like it? Do you not like it? I genuinely want to know. But let me know in the comments down below. I want to know what you guys have to say. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, you're more than welcome to drop a like on it. And if you enjoyed this type of content, you're more than welcome to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. If you happen to be watching this on my Rumble channel, you're more than welcome to do the same as clicking that follow button and that bell would be very much appreciated. But until then... Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your boy Discreet. And I'll catch you in the next video.